Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. In today's video, I'll be showing you the full collection of 50 pence coins that I recently completed. That includes one of every single Olympic 50p and one of every single commemorative design released since 1997 up to present date, including King Charles coins and a Kew Gardens. So, without any further ado, let's have a look at this full collection. So then, we'll begin with the Olympics and move on then to the normal commemorative ones after that. As you can see here, I have the full set, all 29 Olympic 50Ps. So we'll go through now and see the condition and designs of each of these. And I'll zoom in, we'll have a look, and we'll zoom back out again for that final shot at the end. So I have here Olympic Gymnastics. We then have Olympic Badminton. And please comment down below your favourite Olympic design. I will say mine when we get to it. We then have Olympic Basketball. And of course, these are all from 2011 issued the year before the Olympics in readiness, so they're ready to circulate that year. We then have Olympic Boccia. This is actually a Paralympic design, as you can see here, a slight change to the logo. We then have Olympic Boxing, with two boxing gloves there, very nice design, in the ring. We then have a good design, one of my favourites, but not my favourite. This is Olympic Canoeing, as we can see, very nice. We then have another good design, Olympic cycling, very cool. We then have Olympic fencing, again, a very action filled and good design. Very nice coin. We then have a very cool one to have and to own, not in terms of design, one of the worst designs actually, but this is the rarest one, Olympic football, the offside rule. Very nice coin, the rarest of all the Olympics. We then have Olympic goal ball, very nice. Well, you know, one of the worst ones in my opinion. We then have Olympic Gymnastics. Oh, I said so this was Gymnastics, didn't I? This is Olympic Gymnastics, Christopher Collector's favourite design of the Olympics. This is Olympic... Oh, I have forgotten the name for this one, and I do apologise, I should research this, but it is there on screen for you. And this is the one with the rare blue Peter variety from 2009, but mine is 2011, for Olympic... Oh, it's not it's not high jump, but it's, I don't know, I forgot it and I do apologise, but it'll be on screen, so you will have seen it. We then have Olympic handball, as we can see there, very nice. We then have Olympic hockey, a very cool design once again, one of my favourite ones, because it just shows, you know, it's a good, quite a good realistic, like, realistic portrait. We then have Olympic equestrian, or Olympic horse riding. Very nice. We then got a, one of the rarer ones. This is Olympic Judo. Very nice, one of the rare ones. We then have Olympic Pentathlon. You can see all five sports there in the Pentathlon. So a cool design. We then have Olympic... Now, is this rowing or sailing? This is Olympic rowing. One of the worst designs, in my opinion, Olympic rowing. And then right after it here we have, this is Olympic sailing. Again, not the best design, but a good one for, you know, you've got to get it to have finishing the set. My second favourite design, probably, Olympic shooting. Quite a cool design there for that one. We then have the famous one, Olympic aquatics, Olympic swimming. If there's lines over the face, there's not on this one. If there is, it's worth many thousands. But, you know, without it, still a nice coin. We then have Olympic table tennis. You know, quite a cool one, once again. And then we have Olympic... Taekwondo here, again an action fill design. We then have Olympic Tennis, my fir the first one of these I got, and I actually won this from Change Checker about three years ago, so a good bit of history for this exact coin in my collection, but there we go. We then have the final one that, needed, that I got, the most recent one I got to finish the collection, Olympic Triathlon. Here we have my favourite design, this is Olympic Volleyball. This is just quite a cool eye-catching design, and so is therefore my favourite of the set for Olympic Volleyball, very nice. We then have the absolute worst design, a terrible one, Olympic weightlifting, minimal effort, I could have done that in my sleep, but you know, a coin needed nonetheless. We then have this one here, this is quite a cool effect with the shiny and then the lines, for Olympic wheelchair rugby, or Paralympic I should say, as you can see. Then a few more we have here, Olympic wrestling, again one of the rare ones, a nice one to have, and then finally we have here, Olympic archery. This is, this is the most common of all the Olympics. 
And if you want to see a video, and um, there's a link here on in the description, sorry, there'll be a link in the description to our video showing every Olympic and its mintage and value. So you can see how rare these are and how valuable these are if you have them yourself. So feel free to look at that video after this one if you wish. But now then, we'll bring in the main event, the main tray of commemoratives. Let's bring it in here. And then we'll zoom out on this. Yes, there we go. Look at this. As you will see, this is a specialised tray that holds the exact size of 50 pence coins. But for that reason, they're quite hard to get out. So for this one, I will bring the tray to the camera rather than the coins out individually. But we'll go, well, actually, no, I'll bring the camera to the coins. How about that? Let's go on a little mini tour of my 50p collection. So I'll get a zoom in. We have here firstly, of course, Britannia, NHS. And again, I'll stop you with my favorite design and comment down below your favorite. We then have the EEC stars, public libraries, the suffragettes movement, Roger Bannister, the dictionary 50p, Victoria Cross heroic soldier, Victoria Cross the medals, scouts, the shield design, or oh, what a beauty there. This is the Q Gardens. And as we know, this is a very, very rare and desirable coin. I mean, I bought this for 50 pounds, so I got a bit of a steal, but they do sell for up to close to 200 or around 200 in good condition, as this one is. So a great coin there. This is the most rare and desirable of all 50 pence coins. We then have 100 years of girl guiding, the WWF, and then in between here, in 2011, this is when all the Olympics were issued, but of course there's so many, they have their own tray. We then have Benjamin Britten. This is one of the worst designs. We then have Christopher Ironside. We then have the 2014 Commonwealth Games. The Battle of Britain, my personal favorite design. Look at that. What a, I mean, this is a beauty. There's like three layers to the design there. The text above, of course, is the planes and below the pilots there running towards their Spitfires, the date below. I mean, that's a great design there. We then have Beatrix Potter, the title card. And there's many of her designs of characters. We have here Jumama Puddle Duck, Peter Rabbit, Squirrel Nutkin, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. We then have here the Battle of Hastings, 950th anniversary. We then have, this is the Team GB. We then have Isaac Newton, or Sir Isaac Newton, I should say. We then have the Tale of Peter Rabbit, Benjamin Bunny, the most common. Mr. Jeremy Fisher, Tom Kitten, Peter Rabbit again, Flopsy Bunny here. We then have Mrs. Tittlemouse, the Tailor of Gloucester. Then moving on to Paddington coins, we have here Paddington at Buckingham Palace. Paddington at Paddington Station. This is the 1918 representation of the People Act. We then have two more Paddington ones here. We have to the left, Paddington at St Paul's, and to the right, Paddington at the Tower of London. And the final coin for this tray we have here, Sherlock Holmes. Now, I could not fit them all onto this tray, so I'll move you now on to tray two. So here is the overflow tray, including a few bunk ones. I do not collect NIFC coins. The ones here are either one or this one I had to buy as it is such a spectacular design. I will show these. We'll first go for the last circulating ones. So we have the Brexit 50p, as you can see there. And the same year released, the Diversity 50p. We then have Her Majesty the Queen's Platinum Jubilee 50p. The Pride 50p. The, of course, a very sad one to be released, the Memorial 50p to Her Late Great Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And a very happy one to be released, of course, last year, the Coronation of King Charles III. A brilliant coin there. So that's all the commemoratives that have been released to date as of filming. Then we have, I'll just show you these quickly here. I bought this ages ago because it's a spectacular design. Decimal Day 50p. I won the Alan Turing, Eeyore and BBC ones off various giveaways, mainly from Change Checker. So a big thank you to them, as of course there's been a few coins in this video that they have provided the all that I've won. But there we go. That is an overview of my 50p collection that I now have completed fully. So please do comment down below your favourite design and if you have the full set as well. So there we go. As I say, comment down below, do you have the full set? And, and more importantly, what is your favourite design over all these years and designs of the 50 pence piece? So there we go. Please do leave a like as always and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.